I don't I don't like this sword. This is a dumb sword. Is there a better way? Warp. Maybe I never went there. In Orlando, Chamber of the Princess, Daughter of Chaos, Stone Dragon. I am pretty sure that is not right. But I'm going to go there anyway. Yeah. That just doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I guess I never went down to the, the Valley of the Drakes and I'll just make my way there. Before I go and make a fool of myself again. You know what? You know what? I have a bunch of Titanite. Well, I'll abuse you, needed. Reinforce weapon. I have no. I'll be seeing you there. Souls. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna skip through this. Man, this is a lot of souls. Okay. Don't drink Estus. That was a waste. I need to level up. I need some more strength. And... Resistance is useless, I think. Attunement I haven't been using. Let's just go some strength and some dexterity, because let's just go all strength, because why not? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, cat. Go away. Dark Souls is a... Confusing, messy, odd game. And I love it. So, Valley of the Drakes. Valley of the human like shrubs. One of those is much more terrifying than the other. And one is much more effective. That hit him. And he fell off. Kind of a gruesome way to go. I'm pretty sure I've been down here. I'm probably just doing something wrong. But walking's good for you. Burn some of those soul calories. Can the undead get fat? How does the uh, reanimation process work? Does it reset you back to uh, you know previous point or something? Because it kind of hollows you out. So what if? You just ate a ton of stuff. Lived horribly unhealthily. And then you died due to clogged arteries and a heart and whatnot. Would you then get brought back as a zombie who is 
freshly arterified. Because when a, when a giant wolf cuts my head off, I don't respawn back at the bonfire with no head. What is up with these things? I respond back with my head intact, so I don't, I don't understand. Tomb of the Giants. I don't know. Makes no sense to me. I'm gonna kill this first dragon, test out the new sword, see how much damage it was doing. The first half of Dark Souls is is a very zen-like, enjoyable adventure. You can close your eyes and make your way through the undead uh, burg and pretty much everything until Blight Town is just a nice little walk in the park. But once you hit the latter half of the game, that didn't do too much. Ow. Things start getting stressful and difficult. Four Kings fight, that one's stressful. You have to run really fast and fight a bunch of giant crazy evil guys. Oh no, I'm caught on his tail. Oh, this thing's really heavy too. That's gonna be a problem. Seath! Seath isn't that difficult. But if you lose to Seath, you will die and come back with half of your health back. Which I guess isn't so bad. He's coming up here. After uh, playing Dark Souls 2, because that happens a lot. Probably even less bad after playing Demon Souls. But still. I don't I don't I don't like any of this stuff. I'm going back to the halberd. Where are you, birdie? Where is it? These are bows. Why am I looking there? I probably could have upgraded the halberd. Oh well. Uh Nido. Oh no, this is awful. Did he see me yet? He did. I forgot there were two. Let's try and get them alone. Your shield did not help, my friend. Nido has a ton of little zombie friends who keep coming back to life, unless you have a divine weapon, which I do not. Gwyn is just a dude, but he's super fast and angry and insane. You do that. thing has range. I mean, it makes sense, because that's pretty much the selling point of the weapon, but still. Alright, there's ghosts in here. Can I, can I dodge good now? Yes, okay. I'm gonna heal, and there's a ghost right in front of me. 
and just try and run past all these dudes. Because it's right over here. And they can't follow me through the fog. <laughs> they can try. But they don't have Artorius's ring. I think you can drop down from way up here, but I'm not going to. Because I don't want to die if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, attempt number two. There's our souls. Just grab those real quick. And... We have our first hunk of tree bark. Who isn't taking a lot of damage. And who is dealing a reasonable amount. Oh no, he's gonna try and eat me. Oh, that that's 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 not what that was. Okay, okay. He's angry. I get that. I can respect that. I don't think this is gonna work out. I think this is gonna be a failure. I'm pretty confident that is the case. And I am eaten. You know what? Let's go see what Seath is up to. Oh no. Where's the other one? He is behind me. Oh no, what is that? Giant pendulum of spinning death that followed me. Oh man. You guys are kind of jerks, aren't you? Sure, let's just trade hits. Unless I miss twice. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? Um, that was the third king. Why is there a fifth one? Do they just keep spawning? I was sure I lost that. <laughs> I gave up hope almost immediately. Okay. That's what I get for forsaking the halberd. Bequeathed Lord Soul Shard. For humanity. Wow, okay. You know what, Halberd? You're, you're alright in my book. Now on, we're gonna stick together. Just you and me. <laughs>